your performance? Obviously, you kind of took it late, so. Um. Well, it wasn't my best performance. Like I said, I thought I could have done better. I gave myself like a high C, low B. I wasn't really proud of my performance. I got tired in the last one, but I got to see another point of view. I only took it with the seven day notice. Talk a little bit about that because I talked to you in the gym and that was kind of crazy. Like you'd been resting, relaxing, and you kind of took the fight. Um, am I accurate in saying that or how yeah, are you? Yeah, you're accurate in saying that. I took like, I was gone for a month and I came back, took the whole February. I didn't take it all, but I took a light in the gym and I called that call just a week ago and telling me you're ready to fight. And I said, yeah, I'm always ready, but I'm not ready for a fight ready, but I, my, my, me and my team, we sat down and we talked like, we could get ready in seven days and we did. We came out performing, got the unanimous decision. Well, let's keep it real, that guy, even though his record was 0-2, he was a lot better than an 0-2 fighter. He was a, he had some things that he could do in there. What well, do you I, think? He was, for being 0-2, I still think he was a good fighter. He was strong, he was tall, he just kept using his reach. But my game plan was to move around, find him. In the last round, he got me with a good body shot, but I didn't want him to notice it. But he, he strong for being an 0-2 fighter. He's a really good, strong fighter. Yeah. So you just felt like uh, your condi it was just a conditioning thing in the last round. You just didn't quite have if you had had a full camp. Yeah, I felt like if I would have had a full camp, I would it would have been a different outcome. But it's just the last round I already got retired. It came the, the training camp got to me in the last round. But I feel like if I had a long training camp, it would have been a different outcome. And is it true you sparred Valdez a week or maybe like ten days ago? Yeah, I, yeah I sparred uh, Valdez and I sparred uh, Magdaleno ten days before, so. I knew going four rounds with them, I knew I was ready. So I came out and proved myself again. I was ready, a unanimous decision. Okay, and finally, um, just talk about fighting in Fresno, you know, because I'm sure that's what prompted you to come back was to be able to fight near where you live. Yeah, well, I, my fans always been asking me, man, when are you gonna fight, when are you gonna fight? So when they told me, you want, do you want to get a chance to fight anymore? I said, yeah, that's, that's only 45 minutes where I'm from. So my, my, fans were, I, my fans came and supported me today. So you heard the crowd. So uh, a really big crowd out there. Okay, and where can they follow you? You can follow me on Facebook or Cesar Ochoa. You can follow, add me on Instagram at Cesar underscore 12 13 14.